76ers, Hawks, who was the most important player in this game? It's Ben Simmons. In, 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 in a number of reasons. He's got a score. He can't be afraid to shoot. Can't be afraid to go to the cup and get fouled and go through the free throw line. Yeah, they're going to foul him in the fourth quarter, but he has to knock down the free throws. That way he can stay on the floor and play defense on Trey Young or whoever he needs to guard. Lou Williams, whoever it may be. That is why he has the size, the length, the athletic ability to be able to do those things. He cannot afford to be afraid to shoot the damn basketball. That, that's you, you can't be afraid to do that. We're not asking him to be 20 or 20, but we're asking him to just shoot the ball. Give a reason for them to foul you other than just grabbing you in the fourth quarter. He is the most important dude in this game. It's not Joel Embiid. It's not Trey Young. It's not Capello. It is Ben Simmons, and I think he would say the same thing. You know what? You're right. It, it is Ben Simmons for the Hawks. He's the most important player for Atlanta because when we get to the fourth quarter, you know what's going to happen. They're going to keep testing him, and it's not really just testing him physically anymore. It's testing this right now. We're learning a lot about Ben Simmons and how much he likes to be challenged or maybe not likes it. The most important player is Joel Embiid. And I didn't even bother to look up the on-off, plus-minus analytics and all that stuff to prove that when Embiid's on the court, the Sixers are just the better team in this series. Not worth it. The eye test tells you everything. When he's on the floor, they're a better team. When he comes off the floor and Dwight Howard comes in, that's when the Hawks make their push. These last two comebacks have been about the fact that Embiid could not be on the floor. I know, you'll tell me, he missed a ton of shots in the second half, that he couldn't finish a layup in Game 5 or Game 4. I understand that that did happen. But in Game 5, when Embiid was on the floor, the plane was balanced. When he came off the floor, turbulence. They can't afford that. They've got to manage his minutes early so he's on the floor for most of what they can in this game so they can survive. Well, you know what? I, I can't believe the disrespect that I, I'm constantly getting when it comes down to Ice Trey and Trey Young. He's the most important player in game six. Club ATL is going to be rocking. Ice <laughs> Trey is going to be in the building. And mind I tell y'all, it's li look, listen. In game five, right? Game five, Trey Young, I mean, in game four, Ice Trey took over that game by dropping, what, 18 dimes? He shot nine for 26 from the field. He had 25 points, but he facilitated for others. Did you see what he did in game in game uh game five? He game five, he came out. And he had a 37-piece wing dinner when it mattered the most. <laughs> Trey Young has been flying under the radar. And this is the problem that I have. Everybody want to talk about Ben Simmons and him not shooting free throws, and rightfully so, Key. You're right about that. Because if I'm Doc Rivers, I'm thinking about maybe sitting him down in the fourth quarter, especially if he's not giving me nothing on the defensive end. But the way that Trey Young has been dominating this series and has been flying under the radar has been beyond disturbing to me. Because if it, if this was with Luka Doncic in the same position, they would have be ready to put a statue out there somewhere in front of the building. But Trey Young, he gets no no type of uh, uh, acknowledgement. He gets no type of credit. This Hawks team has overachieved and beyond. This Hawks team is one game from going to the Eastern Conference Finals. One game and knocking off the number one seed. This man has been flat out balling all this year. He was an all-star snub. He was a, a all-NBA snub. This, somebody got to put some respect on this man's name, and I'm here to take up for him today. You know, Big Perk, the same way we talk about Giannis Garden KD, this is why I say Ben Simmons. You say that Trey Young is the most important guy in this game. Ben Simmons is the most important because he needs to take Trey Young out. And if he's not on the floor, that's not going to be done by nobody else. So that's why he's the most important to me. Well, well Keith, listen. Listen to this. You remember when you just told me about my all-NBA, he is who he is? Ben Simmons is on that list, okay? He is who he is. And, and what's happening is, is that if he's not locking in 
on Trey Young, and Trey Young is able to maneuver and get down the court and get wherever he wants and facilitate, causing the defense to, to collapse because he's blowing by him, then he's a liability. Because one thing we all know, he's not going to give you anything on the offensive end. Forget making free throws. Forget making jump shots. Ben Simmons is not even making layups and dunks right now. Mentally, he's just not there. So I'm looking at it right now, and I know what Ben Simmons could do defensively. But right now, mentally, he looks mentally drained. He looks emotionally drained. And I don't know if he could recover. Matisse Thibel can still guard. You can still have him out on the floor, and he can actually knock down a shot. I don't think that's a major issue at that point. But Doc's going to face... And he might have to face it in this game. And I'll tell you what, you wonder about this team mentally? What if they do, the Sixers I'm talking about, take another big lead? Yes, you're on the road. And that building got loud. I get, you got to give credit to the ATL, to those fans at State Farm Arena. Like, they have been fantastic as a home crowd. And you haven't been able to say that a lot about Atlanta sports and their fandom. They don't really come out for their teams historically, but they really have yeah. for this team. They love this team. So there's going to be momentum in the building, but if Ben Simmons is getting caught up in it and he can't make a free throw and he's maybe checking out, Doc's going to have to take him out of the game. That's a tough decision to make, but you got to do what's best for the team. The well, road could be in his favor, though, being on the road. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.